Emmett coming at you with another video and today's topic is going to be based on updates on my changes and anything that has to be based on it because I haven't been able to make videos for quite some time now like a couple months and that's because I actually had uh, eye issues and uh, if you haven't uh, watch that go watch it. I did make a video of, of it and stuff like that so with that being said let's get to the video shall we so actually um with the testosterone I haven't been able to know any updates on that because I haven't been able to see her because of this COVID um thing going on so um, everyone's being careful when it comes to seeing people and getting the virus and stuff like that. So, I had an appointment on July, I believe, 10th, but I couldn't make it in time. And they wanted blood work and stuff like that. And because a lot of places that are doing blood work are doing more of the COVID patients they actually send people to other tricor places if you guys don't have that it's just a place where you get blood drawn and so on like um and it's really hard to actually find a place to actually get that, especially not having a car, we've been having a little, not little, some issues actually getting a car, but like, um, I think it's come to a time where me and Sana sat down and actually talked about it, and we're actually um, going to put put that as a priority for this year of 2020 of getting ourselves a car it's really hard not to have one especially when you have to like travel so far especially when it comes to doctor appointments and when you're trying to get a ride for places and they're doing their own thing or stuff like that or their cars broke or whatever um so that's part of it and um oh yeah and I was forgetting I am gonna actually see her on August. I forgot what day but I am actually gonna make a video on that just to let you guys know how things are going and um and that's that. Now to actually changes, um like you guys see I have a lot of facial hair like right there um I have like hair like on my cheeks and then like my sideburns over here where my sideburns are uh it's a lot of darker over here is a little bit lighter then it gets darker over here on my chin then it goes all around same dark and then lighter and then um, when it comes to my eyebrows they're a lot darker just don't mind the white hair i'm actually gonna color that and then um mustache it's a lot lighter you could actually could tell there it's growing but it's gonna take time and then my goatee right here in the middle is actually light as well like the mustache and stuff like that I don't know why I have this mom and that's always hair always been so in there I don't know why over here don't show um and then I always didn't have a problem with the uh, hair uh, since I was little um, my mom would mention that um, a lot of hair would fall out when I would have baby shampoo. I don't know why, 
but they did tell her that I had to use adult shampoo and stuff like that. For this time, uh, now that I'm older, I don't know why, um, but now I understand it, it was meant to be and stuff like that. And no, I've never understood why, but it is what it is, and yeah. And for the hairline, did actually, I don't think it's changed a lot. Um, and like here, you guys can see that it goes like uh, like a little circle, and then it goes like a little curve, and it goes down. Um, same over here. And then um, Piotr is strong. Shauna is actually like. I could tell the difference when she actually tells me, you know, it does actually smell a lot different because when you're a female, you're actually born as a biological female, you actually have a lighter smell and not that strong. And when you're a guy, actually, um, it's a lot stronger, um, I think it stinks. <laughs> um, and I never thought it would be that strong. When actually trans guys would actually say it was strong, I didn't understand what they were talking about. But now that I'm experiencing myself, I actually understand a lot. Um, like uh, you guys could actually see a little bit of my my hair on my arms. Barely, you guys could see something there. It's gonna take a long time, I think. Um, I actually forgot to take my testosterone yesterday, so I'm actually gonna do it today. It's actually not good to miss uh, your testosterone because it's either a day before or a day after. Or you actually have to do it the next week and stuff like that, so I'm actually gonna put that as part of today. Um, uh, leg hair, I have a lot and all over my body, and I have some on my back. Um, not a lot, like, I would actually not, I don't want to exaggerate on that because I know there's a lot of guys that, um, not that I know personally, but I actually heard they actually have in their back as well. I have some on my back. Uh, the cheeks as well, and stuff like that, and on the back of my leg, and then, um, what else? My voice is, I think, a little bit deeper, but not where I want it. I actually still get, like, misgendered a lot over the phone, which really makes me upset and there's times where I use like medical transportation to go and get my um where I go see my doctor like if I have an appointment or something like for example um I think last month I actually had a lady because when it comes to like medical transportation and your insurance they have your actual name and the lady thought they were looking for a woman and stuff like that. So that made me upset and I mean like I don't want to tell everyone like a stranger that I only can see one time what I really am and stuff like that. So it is what it is. I just have to do something with the uh, name change and stuff like that. But with this COVID going on, it's really... Hard to even know if they're doing things. Um, because it gets annoying and stuff like that. And when they hear my voice, they say, oh, ma'am, or sir, or whatever, and then they stick to ma'am. So it's like, it's annoying. Um, anyways. Uh, when it comes to eating, I don't see a big difference. Um, I just think it's the person, like, uh, the immune system, I believe, uh, 
how they're used to eating um, is just them, I think. Because I could eat a little bit more, but not like dramatically, where I could actually go to a restaurant and get played after played and uh, like I mm, one time my family and us actually I think Sean was with me um at that time being when we actually went to a restaurant and it was a buffet there was a guy that would actually like go finish their food and then actually get more and then eat that and then get up a couple times I can't do that and stuff like that so it is what it is and I could only eat what I can and yeah I'm just gonna stick to what I could eat and stuff like that I don't want to actually like overeat and get sick um what else and then I'm actually gonna show you guys um my top surgery how it's looking oh yeah and then the thing that uh, I want to mention uh, I do have chest here they might not be able to show a lot um, I do want to tell you guys I'm gonna show my belly but I haven't been able to exercise so yeah it might see like or might think that I drink and stuff like that because I did have a belly, but yeah. I mean, you guys can't really t tell. I mean, I could tell because I could see myself and stuff like that, but I do have like chest hair right there. And then, um,. That's how it looks. It's getting lighter. Like, I wish people would actually let me know what they use. Because, I mean, I've seen transgender guys actually, like, months. Uh, with surgery. And even before my surgery, they got their slider so do you guys have anything to uh, for me to actually purchase please let me know uh, but please don't uh, tell me if there's anything that is expensive that I can't really afford I prefer not to even know because I'm in a tight uh, budget where I could actually afford things and I actually want something that I could afford and grew a store and actually like line it up because I actually want it to look more naturally and um yeah oh if I forgot to tell you guys I do have hair on my belly and right here and stuff like that sorry about that um showing you guys my belly and so embarrassing anyways um but that actually tells you guys i'm healthy and my woman feeds me good um so yeah uh what else um oh i do tend to sweat more even if it's inside the house or if it's outside um it is, I sweat, even if I don't exercise, I actually am sweating. If I do exercise, I'm sweating. Um, even if I'm a little bit outside, I actually, like, I tend to sweat. Like, right now I'm sweating, I'm not doing nothing. Um, I believe that's, like... What I have to say about this video, and if I forgot anything, please leave any comments below. I'll actually like uh, respond to anything that you guys want to know about me. 
uh, hit me up on Instagram. Um, I do have a Instagram with me and my woman on it, and so like that. So please actually respect our relationship and stuff like that, um, because we both check our messages and stuff like that, and it's like we don't hide nothing from each other. So, uh, yeah. So you guys go look us up. They're on Instagram, um, here on YouTube, and we do actually have a Facebook, um, but we don't actually use it. Um, but we will start using that for if you guys actually want to see any updates of us. Uh, we'll actually be posting there, and you guys could talk to us there as well. So, till next time, peace.